was winter time on the island of Sodor. The snow covered fields and railway lines. All the engines were hard at work, except Percy. Come on, Percy. This is no time to have a rest. I'm stuck, moaned Percy, and my funnel's freezing up. Driver's gone for help. Ha! huffed Thomas and went on his way. Later, Thomas had to help clear snow by a tunnel, but it was too deep, and he got stuck. Thomas was very cross. Snow is nothing but trouble, he moaned. Rusty was close by. Driver says this winter is as bad as the worst winter of all. How worst, asked Thomas. I'll tell you, replied Rusty, and then the little engine did. Scarloey was working the line to the slate mine in the mountains. When the snow came, it was difficult to work. They used the snow as a double buffer zone to help stop cars skidding through the ravine. One day, Scarloey set off to the mines with some empty cars. Meanwhile, there was trouble at the mine. The winch that hauls the cars up and down wasn't working properly. Scarloey had reached the ravine. High above him were the mine yards. That snow looks dangerous, said his driver. The sound of your engine and the freight cars could cause an avalanche. I'll set off an emergency cap and see what happens. Scarloey watched as his driver prepared it. Then they ran over the cap. The bang echoed around the gorge. Nothing happened. Good, said his driver. All's well. We'll have a cup of cocoa and then make our way. But high above them, all was not well. A long line of full cars was about to be winched down the slope. They had just started their journey when some empty cars became derailed. The winch groaned. Break it. Snap it, shouted the freight cars. And they did. On, on, faster, faster, they giggled. A snowbank and buffers will stop him, said a workman. But he was wrong. The freight cars plunged into the ravine. Scarloey and his driver heard the noise and looked up. Avalanche! they cried. cleared, there was no sign of Scarloey. He was buried deep inside the high drift, blocking the ravine. And then came the funny part. What's the funny part about an avalanche, asked Thomas. Well... No one knew that the heat from Scarloey's engine had helped him make an igloo. It's a snowball. It's a snowhouse. It's an engine. They cleared away the ice only to find Scarloey's driver and fireman drinking cocoa, as if nothing had happened. Lucky for him, but it just goes to show you can't trust freight cars, said Thomas. Or snow, said Rusty. The men had just cleared the snow away from him when Gordon puffed by with his machine. Hey, look out! There's snow about! He stopped by the tunnel and wheezed loudly. Then it happened. Oh, no. If Scarloey survived a snowfall, surely a big, proud engine like you can do the same, chuckled Thomas. Paw, moaned Gordon from within, and then fell as silent as the snow.